Associate Professor Evil, as you know, you have been considered for tenure at the Evil Alchemist University for quite some time now. We have finally come to a decision. Excellent! At last my talents will be recognized. Yes. Well, let us first discuss that little incident in Orgrimmar when you killed all the beggars. My pleasure. I remember it well. I used an evil potion to turn Barnaby into a giant crab, and he killed all the beggars in Orgrimmar. Right. Unfortunately, we do not consider that an evil deed. What? You must have known at the time that you were doing Orgrimmar a favor by ridding it of all of its beggars. You were even given a key to the city for your efforts. Yes, but the key was useless, and I did kill the beggars. And then there was that incident in Deadwind Pass. Um, yes, that was the day I used the Scythe of Elune to transform Barnaby into a giant crab, and he killed all the gold farmers. Scythe. What? It's pronounced Scythe, not Scythe. Oh. Well, Scythe is the evil way of saying it. At any rate, I'm afraid that, again, we cannot consider this an evil act. After all, you did kill all the gold farmers in Deadwind Pass, and as we all know, gold farmers are a nuisance. But surely these events still demonstrate how evil I truly am. I'm sorry, Associate Professor Evil, but you are just not evil enough. It is the decision of this committee to deny your tenure. But my research! In addition, we have decided to demote you. D demote me? You can't do that! Yes, I can. No, you can't! Mm, yes, I can. I hereby demote you to the lowest position imaginable. Associate Professor Evil, you are now a graduate student. Your pupil Quintus, however, has shown remarkable talent in his own evil, and it is the decision of this board that he replace you as instructor of evil at the Evil Alchemist University. What? This cannot be! Haven't I suffered enough? Quintus, come forward and receive your staff of evil. It is an honor. From now on, Mr. Evil here will report directly to you, Associate Professor Quintus. This isn't fair! I taught him everything he knows! Best get some rest, Mr. Evil. I'll need you to fetch me some breakfast in the morning. <gasps> am I to do? After all the years I've spent being evil, I am betrayed by my own university. I had planned to become Dean someday, but now my plans are laid to waste. <laughs> what do you mean? Go on. Yes, you're right. Why am I sitting here groveling? If I can't become Dean by my evil merits, then I shall become Dean by evil force. <laughs> now, what we need is an item that will grant me more power than any evil potion or silly scythe. I have heard rumor of a clawed hand made from the purest silver called the Gnarled Claw of Morheim. It can be found in the lowest chambers of the dungeon known as the Black there is a little known creature that resides there known as Grumpy, and it is he that carries the gnarled claw. I will round up a group of like-minded individuals and lead them into the very bowels of this place and retrieve for myself the gnarled claw of Morheim. Then I will have all the power I need to overthrow the idiots in charge of the evil alchemist university, and in so doing, become Dean myself. <laughs> Come, Barnaby, we have work to do. Alright people, I'm leading a raid into the Black Temple. 
I need four more people. A priest, a warrior, a rogue, and then maybe a druid or a shaman or something. Anyone up for the Black Temple? Anyone? Hail, my good sir. We four weary adventurers have imbibed that delicious nectar called ale and doth wish to join thee on thy merry quest. Um, okay, well, it will be really hard and- Fear not, my good zombie, for you have before you the four sole members of the guild rightly named Effervescence. I myself doth being Myth Flander, this man being Faragorn, his cousin twice removed known as Pegolas, his kid brother's donkey stable boy here with us also known as Dimly, and this maid is the fair Barwen, whose golden locks doth be the stuff from whence heaven is made, <sighs> and whose bodice be the delight of no man but myself, and whose boss doth be a multi-chambered domicile within which I have played many a lovely game of hide and stay hidden. Together we shall do with deeds to be spoken of with praise in the years to come. Okay, are you guys role-playing? What doth be this role-playing of which you speak? I merely tell ye that we are men of might and- Get the grat out of here! I don't have time to wax idiotic with a bunch of morons that simply tag F at the end of every word and cyber with any female tunes who show their belly buttons. Shoo! Scat! Ugh, oh, disgusting creatures. There should be a law against- Hey, dude. Me and my friends hop u in dungeon, keke. Um, okay, so you have a priest, a warrior, a rogue, and a druid. Perfect. Have you guys done this before? Oh, yes, dudes. Many times laws. Oh, great. Then this should be a breeze. Let me tell you beforehand, however, that I am only leading this raid to get the gnarled claw of Morheim. I don't want anything else, so feel free to take whatever drops, but the Gnarled Claw of Morheim is mine. Is everybody cool with that? Sure thing, dude. Uh -huh. yeah. Alright then, just warning you ahead of time. So then, my newfound companions, let us raid the dungeon known as the Black Temple. <laughs> Spend five hours pawning them and showing off my tricks. Every week on Tuesday, I fight kobolds at eight. I'll play online till 3 a.m. and never procreate. Tag, tag, kill, tag, stack, cast, four. Kill, kill, respawn, instant soul. Epic blue, green, roller, gold. Tag, tag, I found for rep on Wednesdays and Thursdays are rubble. I did dailies all day long, cause I am that hardcore. On Fridays I am social with all of my best friends. We laugh and talk the night away until I need ready. Take that gas form Kill, kill, respawn, it's dead soul Epic blue, green, roller, grown Take, take, kill, take that gas form On Saturdays, from 1 to 10 My guild is epic rating If I roll a 99 I'll do some gear upgrading Sundays are my It's my occupation Take, take, kill, take, stab, cast, pull Kill, kill, respawn, it's in soul Epic Gentlemen, are you ready to fight? Yes, yes no, onward. Right then, tank, go forth and conquer! <laughs> Woven together in a brew, 
Find thy home in this one's body, and do what evil poisons do. Ah! <laughs> oh, we did it! The creature is dead! Oh, wonder of wonders. Look, Barnaby, the nerd claw of Morheim. And it's mine. Oh! Where did it go? Lols, look what I got, dudes. <laughs> you totally ninja it, rock on. You played that zombie for a fool, you rule. Whoa, look what I can do. <laughs> oh, that's pretty slick. Yeah, it's just a parlor trick, though. I'll probably disenchant it when I get to town. Looks like we made someone upset. Hey, noob, I totally jacked your flag, but I'm just going to disenchant it when I get to town. Um, I think we'd better hurt. Dude, why can't I hurt out of here? My stone isn't working either. Something is blocking it. Dude, give the stupid claw back to him. Um, I can't. It's soulbound. <laughs> discovered my calling. I exist to thwart the plans of evildoers and to invoke wrath upon those who would harm or otherwise annoy. I send forth a warning to all beggars, gold farmers, ninja looters, gold spammers, bots, guild invite spammers, cyberers, mailbox dancers, and super role players. Lieutenant Colonel Virtue is watching you. And Lieutenant Colonel Virtue shall rid the world of all nuisances! Remember me before you do anything annoying. For so help me, I'll be there. And Barnaby and I shall invoke swift and deadly justice. You have been warned. <laughs> During the day, he is a grumpy graduate student at the Evil Alchemist University, who is forced to join the Union and tout politically correct ideals he does not believe. But at night, when the beggars, gold farmers, ninja looters, and other annoying players come out, he becomes... Lieutenant Colonel Vachu! Hello, world! You have been warned! <laughs> time when I'm eating, without fail. Yes, what do you want? Hello, Mr. Evil. I'm from the University Green Board, and I'm here to make sure that you are complying with University Green regulations. Oh, well, I was just in the middle of dinner, and... Dinner can wait, Mr. Evil. The planet is more important than you are, and we need to make sure that you are not killing it. Now, where do you make your poisons? Uh, over there at the table. Hmm, let's see now. The fluid in these beakers is an odd shade of green. Are you sure you are using only pure organic ingredients? Uh, oh, yes, absolutely, sir. My killing drugs are 100% natural. Would you like to sample them? Nice try, Mr. Evil, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm taking a sample of this to the lab to make sure. Oh. And what have we here? Are you warming your room using magical firelight? Don't you know that magic fire releases toxins into the atmosphere? What kind of toxins? Oh, you know, the bad kind of toxins. 
What do they do? Well, they're toxic. And that means... Uh, w well, it means, Mr. Evil, that you are disobeying university protocol, and I will have to write you up. <sighs> now, let's see what's in your trash. You're going to rummage through my trash? Oh, yes. It is the only way we can make sure you are recycling. Let's see here. <gasps> what's this? Real baboon knuckles? Uh, yeah. And you just threw them away? Well, yeah, they were all that was left of the baboon, and I have no use for them. And you didn't think to recycle them? Well, what in Azeroth is somebody going to do with baboon knuckles? Anything! Jewelry, ball bearings, baby rattles. You can take anything and reuse it perpetually instead of adding to waste. Look here! It was my baboon, and I can do with it as I please. I drugged the baboon, I experimented on the baboon, and I killed the baboon. And if I decide not to recycle its knuckles, well then it's my own blighting decision. No, it isn't. These unrecycled baboon knuckles affect more people than just you. You see, everything in this world is connected, and what you do with your unused baboon knuckles affects us all. Why, if I were to drop these knuckles on the ground, I bet you it would cause a whirlwind in Westfall. Now listen here, you pathetic waste of space. I will not be intimidated into parroting your politically correct ideology. You people are the first to drone on about tolerance, diversity, and the freedom to do whatever you want. But when it comes to your own dogmas and philosophies, you are perfectly willing to impose your will on anyone who doesn't believe exactly the same way you do. Lies! We don't force people to do anything because we don't believe in violence. We just use the courts to sue them. It's perfectly legal. Tyrants used force in the past and tyrants use the law today, but that doesn't make them any less of a tyrant. I am not a tyrant! You don't have the right to offend me! I'm suing you! <laughs> oh my! It's Lieutenant Colonel Virtue! The wages of tyranny is... Yeah! Ah, be sure to recycle my ashes! Ah. Oh, Barnaby, what's happening to me? In an effort to root out tyranny, it appears that I myself have become a tyrant. <laughs> yes, you're right. I guess tyranny in some form is inevitable in this world. And if somebody has to be a tyrant, it might as well be me. <laughs> Ha 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 